Yeah, I'm not sure most employee communication professionals see the facilitation of collaboration as part of their role. I've surveyed my blog subscribers and clients about you know the adoption of, of uh, enterprise social networks, for instance. And clearly, companies are adopting that technology and using it much more slowly than we would see people using, you know, say, social media channels in their personal lives. I, I don't think leaders of companies, they have so much invested already in intranets that they're very reluctant to let go of that technology in favor of, of newer technologies because they've made the investment. It's already de been deployed. And then I don't think internal communicators, again, see that as necessarily their role. You know, I look at communications as kind of a three-way process. There's the top-down traditional process. If you're lucky, there's some mechanism in place, hopefully baked into the processes for bottom-up communications, two-way. But I think where we really fall down is what I call the third level, which is peer-to-peer, side-to-side communication between each other. And it's amazing to me. I, I remember talking to a guy from Eli Lilly back in the late 90s, when they had just deployed their first worldwide intranet, which they called at the time Elvis, which stood for Eli Lilly Virtual Information System. I remember that. <laughs> and he predicted, I remember it, I can remember it as if it was yesterday when he looked at me and said, if Eli Lilly only knew what Eli Lilly knows, meaning that there's so much untapped knowledge within this giant global organization and he had dreams that Elvis would help untap these vast resources of information. And I think here we are this many years later, we're moving past intranets into enterprise social networks and who knows what technology is coming on the heels of that. And we're still trying to figure out what the knowledge is within our own corporations and how to collaborate and use it.